Ever wondered how we can potentially solve the world's food crisis? Imagine crops growing in skyscrapers with water and space being used efficiently all year round. That's the power of vertical farming. But it's not just about growing plants indoors. We're diving deep into hydroponics, aeroponics, and aquaponics, exploring innovative methods to feed our future sustainably. Join me on this journey to discover the future of farming. Vertical farming is a vastly popular concept in agricultural circles across the world. It is even believed that vertical farming holds the answer to the world's food. In hydroponics, which is also known as hydroponic vertical farming, plants' root is not planted in soil. Instead, they are planted in a water solution that comprises... Let us now consider aeroponic vertical farming, or aeroponics, which is a variant of hydroponics. In aeroponics, plants grow in the air or mist that is sprayed on their roots several times each hour. So, the plants grow without soil and water usage is also minimized. The key advantage of aeroponics is that plants' roots are aerated better so they can grow quickly. Even when compared to the most efficient hydroponic vertical farming systems, aeroponics is more water efficient as it consumes up to 90% less water. But in terms of equipment required, aeroponics is more expensive than hydroponics. Precision sensor technology is used in aeroponics to optimize results by regulating a strict dosing regime. Aeroponics is also sensitive to power cuts. Prolonged outages can kill the plants because the right amount of water needs to be constantly sprayed on them. Let us now move on to aquaponics or aquaponic vertical farming. Aquaponics is a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics. In aquaculture, fish is cultivated in water, while in hydroponics, plants are grown without soil. So in aquaponics, plants are fed with the water that fish swim in. The waste from the fish is converted into food for the plants. Aquaponics is a water-efficient production method, but using it calls for a broad knowledge base in aquaculture, hydroponics, microbes, and nutrient levels. Similarly, the startup period for aquaponics is longer because the microbial population needs to grow and stabilize. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for agriculture and farming related videos.